Hi guys, welcome to a new episode of Fishtails and today I'm going to fillet round fish. Thank you for commenting because I got quite a few requests if I could show you how to do it. And it's so easy, it's so much fun to do. This is sea bass and a sea bass is a round fish like cod, like haddock, like salmon. So if you practice the way I'm going to show you right now, you can almost fit it like any round fish available. In the first place, you'll need scissors to cut off the fins. We use a descaler, a small knife to take out the guts, and a filleting knife to fillet your fish. One of the main advantages of buying whole fish instead of filleted fish is that you can make sure that you buy a really fresh piece of fish. The eyes are bright instead of dull. Make sure that the skin is shiny and that the gills are red instead of brown. So we start taking off the fins. There are two fins on the backbone side. Next to the tail, there's another fin. The next step is to clean the fish, which actually means we're going to descale the fish and we're going to take out the guts. Just next to the belly fins, you start cutting into the belly side of the fish. And you can see on the, on the bright color that the fish is fresh again. And also, when you smell, you smell the sea. Um, and when it smells uh, fishy, um, you bought a wrong piece of fish. Now we start uh, removing all the guts. You take your hand. In some cases you need to cut it loose. Make sure that all the blood is gone, that from the inside you have a beautiful empty piece of fish. So now we start the actual filleting of the fish. Make sure your cutting board is steady, um, it lays firm. Therefore I use a bit of wet uh, paper towel. My cutting board is exactly on the edge of my working plate um, and my fish lays um, on the edge of my cutting board. So just behind the, the front fin, we're going to cut the fish from the belly side. We make this angle to the top of his head. I put my hand into the empty belly of the fish and hold it firm here. And we start cutting horizontally into the fish. Take your time to practice and cut until here. So we twist the knife and then we go towards the tail. And actually the bone here in the fish, here it's like a small hill uh, going up. You can feel it with your knife, but actually where the belly ends, the bone is going to be more horizontal. And at that very point, you can stick your knife through your fish and cut it towards the tail. So now we cut the fillet loose from the bone by holding the fillet from the back side and from the belly side together. You stick your knife through the fillet at the, at the bone side, you feel the bone and you cut it loose. You take your knife from that part of the fish and you slice it in one slide if possible towards the end of your fillet. And look at this guys, a fillet of sea bass and we repeat the same thing on the other side. So now the head is looking towards that side. From the belly side, again, we go towards the top of the head. Start over again by cutting just above the backbone. So when the belly ends, stick your knife through the fish, hold your fish, cut it towards the head. And now we have two beautiful sea bass fillets, skin on, and the leftover of the sea bass. And save this guys, because this is so delicious to make the perfect fish stock. So now it's time for the finishing touch to make your fillets looking beautiful. And if you feel that there's still some bones inside, you take your kitchen tweezer and you take off, take out the bone. This fish now is ready to be pan fried, on skin on, to be grilled or make a nice papillot in the oven. I'm going to practice and make yourself this professional fish filleter. Just practice like three, four, five times and it will, will go quite easy. I promise. And don't forget to leave your comments in the box below and to subscribe. See you soon. Cheers. Mm -hmm.